It's the final race weekend of the first ever Women's Monobob World Cup. After two years of the World Series bringing together monobob sliders in various different arenas around the world, this year has seen the World Cup established as the top tier of sliding in monobob. And here in Segulda, we reach the conclusion, the eighth and final race of the season. Well, this Latvian track is going to be a real challenge for the monobobs. They are sketchy handling-wise at the best of times, with the rear tending to do as much driving as the front. And this track is going to be really hard work for all of our drivers. It starts with a fairly long and flat start down into corner one. Corner one and corner two are both elevated up on stilts. The start area is five floors up in the start tower. Brianna Walker of Australia has the push record here. Here. And then into the upper labyrinth, corner three and four and five and six, big left hander, and then down into seven and eight and corner nine and then big corner ten here. Tap into 11. 11 is a critical corner, building speed down into the lower labyrinth. 12 and 13, big double pressure corner. 14, the left hander. Exit here brings you onto this long straight that goes uphill into corner 15, up to the roof, back down, building speed uphill again over the outrun and into the Chrysal. The Chrysal here is the last corner, 270 degrees. There's the finish line just after you tap the wall and across the line. It looks relatively calm from on board. It is anything but. From outside, it is going to look pretty sensational as well. Now, World Cup points leader is the USA's Kaylee Humphreys from Lara Nolta and Cynthia Appiah. Humphreys here for the very first time. Somehow in 18 years of sliding, she has never been to Sigilda before. And her high octane debrief of her first trip down here is very well worth watching on social media. She was absolutely amped. It is a very busy track. We saw Humphreys there warming up, Cynthia Appy as well. Anthea had a crash here in training in the mono, also crashed in the two-seat sled. And we've had a couple of other training crashes as well. This track is not the easiest. The good news for the athletes is that it is not bitterly cold and marble hard ice. It is raining this morning while well, drizzling a little bit. It, the rain will stay off the track, but it does mean that the runners should get just a little bit more grip, a little bit more purchase because the track will be a fraction more frosty than otherwise it might be. So we may not see track records. On the other hand, we may because the athletes are getting better and better in these monobobs. We will have to wait and see. It is a fairly small field, as we saw at the beginning of the season. I mean, quite a lot of drop-off after the World Championships and going to Innsbruck last week. Uh, quite a number of athletes went to Winterberg this week for Europe Cup, the final rounds of the Europe Cup for Monobob as well. So Wai Ming Ming will be first off as we get our race underway. Race eight, the season finale for the Women's Monobob World Cup. Wai Ming Ming of China first up to get us underway here at Segulda in Latvia. The 27-year-old has only had three World Cup starts this season in Monobob. Best result for her, a ninth place finish in Eagles. Has not driven Monobob on this track up until now. So let's see where we get to. 5.78 start, the record is 5.62. The key is to try and keep it as quiet as possible. Three corners, one and two, and then down into the labyrinth. Three, little tap there into four, five, six, seven. There's out of six, and seven, eight, nine. We've got these two labyrinth sequences running together. Out of 10, big corner 11. Skid at the back, but she's got it quite well under control. And down into exit of 13, leads you into 14. Critical area here for building your speed or keeping your speed on board. 107 kilometers an hour. Oh, and double tap and skids all the way uphill into the Chrysal, and that just murders your speed. Across the line she comes, 53.56 track record. And there you go, so much for the uh, track record set by Christina Brown here in January 2022. That was the penultimate race before the Beijing Games. And of course, Christine ended up in the bronze medal position. So Wai Ming Ming 
made that all look pretty straightforward. Now, the monobob sled is effectively the same dimensions as a two-seat sled, just with a longer cow, so the driver can sit further back. See why they're a long way back over the rear axle, trying to get the weight back to control the rear. So you use normal two-seat runner, uh, two-seat sled runners, again, over the brow here, coming up out of 14 towards 15. You can see those big skids. And because the tail of the sled is a little bit waywards, they tend to use narrower runners on the rear than you would in a two-seat sled, just to give you that kind of control. World champion, Lara Nolta. Let's see what she's got. Eighth World Cup start for her. She's done every race this season. Two wins, two silvers. And a 5.74 getaway. They'll tap down into corner two. And then again, three to four. You see a lot of taps there, or quite a hard take on there into corner six. See the fans walking down the track at track level. 1100s up. Not bad into 11, they tap into 12. Here's 13. Oh, a little late on the exit. But she gathers it together in 14, better speed than Y. She's 2,900s up. This will be a new track record and a pretty decent run up into the Chrysler until the last minute when it all got squirrely. 120 kilometers an hour, 75 miles an hour, and a 53.03 track record. Well, we got kind of used to track records last time out when we were in Innsbruck because Every discipline broke the existing track records. Lara Nolta with the lead here. Again, watch the front of the sled. She gets a little double tap there, just squares her up and puts her down low at the uh, second labyrinth. And that leaves her coming late out of 10 into 11. Matthias Herfner there with the video. And out of 14, just gets a little bit too much out towards the left-hand side. And this is the straight uphill into 16. Well, more to come from Lara Nolta. Wasn't entirely happy with that run. I think anybody who gets one clean run down here is doing pretty well. Third up, Melanie Hassler. Has raced here in Europe Cup and in World Cup, so she does know the track. 24-year-old has not yet had a monobob medal this season. She has been knocking on the door, though, definitely. From this elevated start area, you go up in an elevator to the fifth floor. 5-7-0 start. Good, strong getaway again from Melly. Nice and quiet early on. Tiny tap to square up, three to four. Whoop, on to corner six. And then seven, eight, and nine, a little bit less frantic than the first labyrinth. Not much, though, so, out of 10. Long downhill run through corner 11. Got to carry the speed through 12 into 13. Late on 13. How does she come off 14? Pretty well. Second best speed, but still 1,500s up. She's building her lead now slightly over Lara Nolta. She gets the skid as well. Second best speed. Is she going to be ahead of the line? It's going to be really tight. 400s, 52.99 for Melly. So third sled, third track record of the morning. And she's looking uh, relatively happy with that. Melanie Hassler, yeah, puffing hard when you've got to do all the work yourself. Requires an awful lot of physical input at the start. You can see the D-rings there in the center. She leaps in, legs either side of the bungee straps that hold them from the cow to the floor. And then as you get out of 15, uphill into the Chrysler corner 16, sled basically kind of almost airborne, just gets very light indeed there. So if you're anything other than perfectly straight, big skids, not enough weight to hold it down. 
Melanie Hasler, the leader from Lara Nolta and Wai Ming Ming. And this is Kaylee Humphreys of the USA. First time ever racing in Segulda. She's our World Cup points leader from Lara Nolta with a 65 point advantage. So Kaylee Humphreys looking to tie up the first ever Crystal Globe in women's monobob. She was the first women's monobob world champion. She was the first women's monobob Olympic champion. And she wants to be the first women's monobob World Cup champion. You saw briefly there Shauna Robach at the top of the track. She's here coaching Kaylee. She has driven this track. Kaylee hasn't. So Kaylee called on Shauna to come out and help. 569 getaway. So faster again than Melanie Hassler. And again, to take the lead here, Kaylee Humphreys will need a new track record. 400s up on the Swiss sled. Nice, smooth lines. And I sort of imagine, you know, she loves Altenburg. She always does well there. This is a very similar track. It's really busy. It really requires the driver to be on their A game. 600 up and a long skid there. And she needs to be clean out of 15 over the brow. She is cleaner. She's cleaner than anybody. So third best speed. Again, 900s away and a new track record, 52.78. And that's the difference going straight out of 15 makes. She went from 900s in front to 2100s in front. That is a very happy Kaylee Humphreys. She was very disappointed with her women's bobsleigh race last week in Innsbruck. And she is right on the money here. This is 11 again. And watch the back of the sled. It's doing what it's told. And everybody, drivers, coaches over the last couple of seasons have been working out how to get the best out of these sleds. Everybody uses exactly the same sled. It's built by a high-tech company called Xcent in Bavaria. So the sled is the same. The spec is the same. You can use your own runners. And the temptation to put the current trend for fat runners on a two-seat sled on has been uh, kind of backed off a bit as the drivers recognize that more control and fewer skids is better. Paul Niago at the back of the sled there, helping it onto the ice for Andrea Grecu of Romania, 28 years old, European silver medalist in women's bobsleigh here back in 2020. The best result of her career so far in women's bob. She finished 12th in the Monobob World Series race here last year. Die! Die! Former break woman, so she should have a decent start. Fastest at the moment, Katie Humphreys with 5.69. And a 5.70 for Andrea Grecu. Oh, but a little tap from one to two. That's really not good news. Straightened up into corner four. The six. Nice looking line so far, 100th behind Humphreys early on, but it's now out to 1100s. Clean out of 14, fourth best speed, 2300s back though. And again, oh, long skid into 16, that's gonna take the speed away and big waves in the Chrysler as well, across the line. Fourth place, half a second back, 53-2-8. Well, two sixth-place finishes this season for Andrea Grecu, her best results in the mono. So we'll see if she can improve on that. Teodora Vlad there at the bottom helping out with the sled. She'll be in the two-seat race tomorrow. Well, it all looks reasonably controlled here, and you can see the tall figure, Andrea, sitting a long way back. But again here, getting that big hit. And again, just that tiny skid as they go uphill into the Chrysler, dragging the speed out of the sled. Watch you come over the brow here. That's not deceptive. That is the way it is. You go over the in-run and then drop down fractionally into the Chrysler. So skidding away, Andrea Greco is fourth. 
Katie Humphreys is our first heat leader at the moment. Second of our German sliders in this women's monobob season finale, Kim Kalicki, 25 years old, took a bronze in Winterberg, her only monobob medal so far. Raced here in November 2020 in women's bobsleigh, but has not raced a mono here. 584 is the getaway. So already leaves a 1500s behind Kaylee Humphreys just from the start. Kalicki, woo! Whipping out there into quarter six. Really not quite yet clicked with this monobob. Took Lauren Alter a while. She finally put all the pieces together in Lake Placid just before Christmas and claimed her first win. Kalecki's not quite completed the puzzle yet. Again, little late there. Long skids, dragging along the wall into 15. Comes straight into the Kreisel. Third best speed. This could bring her up to third place ahead of Lara Nolter. Not quite. She is 500s behind her teammate. So in the battle for the medals, Kaylee Humphreys leads Melanie Hassler, Lara Nolter, and Kim Kalicki. And again, watch corner 11. Again, you can see her hands working on the steering. You don't use a, a steering wheel here like you would in a car. You pull on cables. So there are two handles, D-shaped handles, D-rings. You pull right, the sled goes right. You pull left, the sled goes left. And you can adjust the responsiveness of the steering as well to suit yourself. Some drivers like to put in minimal input for maximum effect. Some like a big pull before the sled steers. So you can adjust that. There's a great view of the bobsleigh runners. Again, not flat all the way along their length. You can see at the front and the rear there off the ice. So they're not only rounded in uh, cross section, highly polished. But also the full length of the runner is not in contact with the ice. It's a smaller contact patch than you imagine. Yingqing of China is next up. Fifth World Cup start for here. Raced here in January last year. She was fifth in the monobob and sixth in the women's bob race. So she should have good pace here. 5.72. So that is in there swinging. Kaylee Humphreys, the leader, starting 5.69. That's still the fastest start. So Ying Ching only 300s behind Kaylee. That is impressive. Cynthia Appiah comes out last, may well be the fastest starter. But when you're 300s behind Kaylee Humphreys, you know you've got a good getaway. Second best speed as well, only 1,200s back. Ying Ching with a very good run so far. This is impressive from the Chinese slider. Just 25 years old. And not with the experience of Kaylee Humphreys. Top three at the moment, long skid into the Chrysler. Huge first pressure. If she brings it out clean, she'll be third, second at the line. 52.98. Yes. Chinese coaches are buzzing with that. Two tenths back ahead of Melanie Hassler, ahead of Lauren Alter, ahead of Kim Kalicki. That's a great run from Ying Ching of China. Janis Minin's her coach there, her driving coach. He'll be very pleased with that. Big skid onto 11. The tail just wasn't quite where she needed it to be. And then down here, big tap as she drops out of 12 into 13 here. Uphill, long skid, puts her off line into the Chrysler. So she shoots to the roof, doesn't panic, leans back, puts in the second steer, gets the exit right. Nice stuff from Ying Ching of China. She is really putting it together on this track. It's excellent news for the Chinese slider. And we have two sleds to go in the first of our two heat race. Victoria Chananska, 20 years old, from Slovakia. Fourth World Cup race of the season for her. Didn't go to North America. 
Youth Olympic silver medalist in the women's monobob in Samaritz 2020. Just a step through into the sled, 607. Again, as her career progresses, she's going to need more oomph at the start to stay competitive. Different when all the athletes were 16, 17 in the Youth Olympic Games, but now when you're up against professional athletes like Kaylee Humphreys and Cynthia Appiah, who've been power and speed training for a decade plus, then you know where the bar is. Chemanska with a pretty nice looking run here so far. Oh, disappointing skid there out of 14. Let's see if she's clean out of 15, not really drifting away again into the Chrysler, sort of all bouncing around on the in entrance. And out she comes, tucks ahead, 54-03. Well, World Cup best so far, a 12th place finish. And that was in her uh, second race. Uh, I beg your pardon, no, she's had two 13th places, so her best is 13th. And those were in uh, Winterberg and Altenburg. In a late flop there. And you can see the ice being sprayed up as she hits the wall and then hauling it in into uh, corner 14. And off she comes, just a fraction late. But the centrifugal force pushing the sled out sideways. And it's fairly flat here, then goes, that's out of 15 uphill coming towards the camera, big skid, and then she gets a double tap that just kind of squirrels her into the Chrysler. Still, she's only doing 75 miles an hour, so, you know, whatever. Cynthia Appia is the ninth and last of our sleds in this first heat of the Women's Monobob World Cup here in Segulda, the season finale, and the 32-year-old won silver, three bronze medals in her campaign this season. And again, look at her speed off the line. 5.69 was the fastest start to Kaylee Humphreys. 5.62 ties the start record of Brianna Walker. And as a little bit of the frost comes off that start area, by the second heat, we might see a fastest start record. 200s back from Kaylee. Little tap early on taking a fraction of speed out of the sled, but she's right there still. She's got better speed. 11 to 12. Now, out of 14, the two critical corners for speed here. Out of 14 and out of 15. Oh, she's going to be close. Is this enough for second place? Is it going to be third behind Ying Ching? Where is she at the line? She is third by th uh, fourth by uh, 200s behind Melanie Hassler. So Ying Ching, Melanie Hassler, Cynthia Appiah, and Lara Nolter are covered by 500s of a second. If you throw another 500s into the melting pot, then you get to Kim Kiliki as well. So second down to sixth, one tenth of a second. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the medal squabble. Well, not a bad looking run into 11 but just carries that steer a little long, slaps the wall, and then diving out here again, another double tap. That's where the speed went. And then the sled just trying to stay stuck to the wall. Somebody clever will probably tell us about boundary layer aerodynamics. I'm not sure it was that. She was just trying desperately not to steer uphill there and uh, cause a skid. So Cynthia Appiah absolutely in the hunt for the medals. But it is Kaylee Humphreys who leads the field after the track record was broken. Not once, not twice, not three times, but four times in the first heat of our season finale for the Women's Monobob World Cup. And imagine what she'd be like if she'd ever seen this track before. Well, there is Katie Humphreys, who I think is putting Sigulda quite high up on the list of tracks that she likes on even her first appearance. And then the battle behind her, Ying Ching, Melanie Hassler, Cynthia Appi, Lara Nolte, Kim Kiliki, perm two of those five for the Who knows, maybe more. We may end up with ties. Then Andrea Greco, head of Wyming Ming, and Victoria Chenanska.
Well, that's the first heat done and dusted. The final heat of the season will come up at 11.55 local. I know, 09.55, which is 04.55 Eastern. So that is in one hour and 30 minutes from now. You have got time for breakfast. Just don't miss the final run of the season to find out who wins in Segulda and who takes the Crystal Globe.